Greetings, everyone. <laughs> I'm up here in my living room. Uh, I'm going to put this together that uh, I've been working on for a while today. I talked with Leo, and uh, it was fun. You know, we're always talking about our expectations and, and uh, you know, what we're looking forward to, the snatching away. And uh, I thought, well, you know what would be pretty neat? is if, if I could sit down and, and put together some scriptures that kind of pull that together in a brief way, you know. And uh, I think I've done something. I, I want to share it. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's pretty awesome uh, to see it come together. So I'll, uh, oh, it's getting warm. See this back here, I'll show you. This is that wood stove that I'm always uh, stoking. That's a, it's got a little fire in it right now. <laughs> Set you right there so you don't fall over. <laughs> Hang on. It's going to get wild. No, uh, this is something that uh, I wasn't planning on doing, but it's just scriptures that I've put together in an order, in a particular order for me that uh, kind of points things to where we're headed. Uh, what our expectation is, the snatching away. All right, so uh, I hope y'all get some enjoyment out of this. I know I do, and and uh, it's been fun writing it out. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll leave a down in the bottom. I'll put the references to the. I mean, it's the the scriptures as I read them in the order that I read them, and. Uh, so you can have them too if you want to write them out and have it. It's pretty neat to be able to do that. And this is in the Concordant Literal uh, New Testament where I find this. So uh, see what this comes out like. Okay, enjoy. It's going to be get that right there. <laughs> enjoy it. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, through the will of God to all the saints who are also believers in Christ Jesus. I am thanking my God always concerning you over the grace of God which is being given you in Christ Jesus. For in everything are you enriched in him, in all expression and all knowledge, according as the testimony of Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not deficient in any grace, awaiting the unveiling of our Lord Jesus Christ, who will be confirming you also until the consummation, unimpeachable in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is God, through whom you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For Christ, while we are still infirm, still in accord with the error, for the sake of the irreverent, died. Yet God is commending this love of his to us, seeing that while we are still sinners, Christ died for our sakes. <laughs> Much rather than being now justified in his blood, we shall be saved from indignation through him. Now, we are aware that God is working all together for the good of those who are loving God, who are called according to the purpose that whom he foreknew, he designates beforehand also to be conformed to the image of his son, for him to be firstborn among many brethren. For not as yet being born, nor putting into practice anything good or bad, that the purpose of God may be remaining as a choice, not out of acts, but of him who is calling. <laughs> According as, as, he cho as he chooses us in him before the disruption of the world, we to be holy and flawless in his sight, in love, designating us beforehand in the place of a son for him through Christ Jesus in accord with the delight of his will. Now, I am making known to you, brethren, the evangel which I bring to you, which also you accepted, in which also you stand, through which also you are saved. If you are retaining what I said in bringing the evangel to you, outside and except you believed faintly. For 
neither did I accept it from a man, nor was I taught it, but it came through a revelation of Jesus Christ. For our realm is inherent in the heavens, out of which we are awaiting a Savior also, the Lord Jesus Christ. For I give over to you among the first what also I accepted, that Christ died for our sins, according to scriptures, and that he was entombed, and that he has been roused the third day, according to scriptures. Yet now Christ has been roused from among the dead, the first fruit of those who are reposing. Now, we do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who are reposing, lest you may sorrow according as the rest, also who have no expectation. For if we are believing that Jesus died and rose, thus also those who are put to repose will God, through Jesus, lead forth together with him. <laughs> For since, in fact, through a man came death, through a man also comes the resurrection of the dead. For even as in Adam all are dying, thus also in Christ shall all be vivified. <laughs> Yet each in his own class, the first fruit, Christ, thereupon those who are Christ in his presence. For this we are saying to you by the word of the Lord, that we, the living, who are surviving to the presence of the Lord, should by no means outstrip those who are, who are put to repose. For the Lord himself will be descending from heaven with a shout of command, with a voice of the chief messenger, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall be rising first. Wherefore he is saying, Rouse, O drowsy one, and rise from among the dead, and Christ shall be dawn, shall dawn upon you. Thereupon we, the living who are surviving, shall at the same time be snatched away together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, that whether we may be watching or drowsing, we should be living at the same time together with him. Wherefore, console one another and edify one another according as you are doing also. <laughs> On this behalf am I bowing my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, after whom every kindred in the heavens and on earth is being named, that he may be giving you in accord with the riches of his glory to be made staunch with power through his Spirit in the man within, Christ, to dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, having been rooted and grounded in love, should be strong to grasp together with all the saints what is the breadth and the length and the depth and the height to know the love of Christ as well which transcends knowledge that you may be completed for the entire complement of God. Now to him who is able to do super excessively above all that we are requesting or apprehending according to the power that is operating in us to him be glory in the ecclesia and in Christ Jesus for all the generations of the eon of the eons. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that neat? <laughs> oh. Yeah. But, <laughs> that comes together pretty good. I, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, uh, or we, if we know who, if we realize <laughs> whose we are and who we are in Christ, we are, we are sons of God. We are sons. We are children. We are his. <laughs> through Christ Jesus, <laughs> we have this, you know, through the cross, through the death of Jesus Christ. He was dead for three days, and they entombed him. And three days later, his father in heaven roused him from among the dead. That's the way it works. And if you believe that and, and hang in Paul's writings, you will understand this stuff. Right? So <laughs> there's that. I just I just had to put that together tonight and uh, I'll share this out in the morning. And when I get this thing put together, get I gotta go in and, and put all this in the bottom. So hey, that's pretty neat. All right. Hey, you guys have a, a fantastic day because you'll see this in the morning this is 
it's uh, quarter after 10 tonight, so uh, I won't get this up till tomorrow. So anyway, it's going to be a fantastic day, and you guys enjoy it. I'll talk to you later.